Hello Royalty, good morning and welcome to our touch point today. Once again, my name is God Gift Austin, the regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics and uh, deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas raised and how we should respond to, to him in the areas. And in so doing, those age-long questions that have lingered in our hearts and that have seemed to have defied answers have been tackled and we are free again to do the things that we are meant to do to the glory of God's name. The last time we were discussing on addiction, addiction, to be addicted to something. And the last question we are asking is, what is the best way to be free from any sort of addiction? And um, we summarize by 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 to 5, that says, Every child of God defeats this evil world. Alright, so you're already a victorious person. Understand? So, and we achieve this victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? No one. Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. No one can win the battle except those that believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So if you are a believer in Christ, you have already defeated this evil world. You are already a victorious person. But your victory is only through Christ. So there are no two names by which we can be saved, but only through Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Praise the Lord. So this morning, I want us to look at a very, another question. And as we wrap up this topic, addiction, so that we can quickly look into another topic. And I know the solutions are already coming in. People are already sharing their testimonies. And I know yours is in it. God bless you. The question is, if we shouldn't let anything control us, why do we submit to the control of the Holy Spirit? If we should not let anything to control us, why do we allow the Holy Spirit to control us? Now look at it in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. The Bible said, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, Faith, gentleness, and self-control. Also, we see in Romans chapter 8, verse 6, it said, Letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. But letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. Which one will you choose if you are asked to choose? Will it be your sin sinful nature or the Spirit of God? Which one would you even like to be a slave to, if I ask you? So God's control is the only kind of control that produces completely positive results. If you ask, who do you want to be a slave to? The reason why so many of us in Nigeria are traveling out is that they, 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 they believe it is better to be suffering outside than to be suffering in Nigeria. So... Why do I stay here and be suffering and I have life to live and die in the suffering when I have opportunity to be better elsewhere like the ten lepers? Praise the Lord. So you need to ask questions. Asking yourself, why should you allow the Holy Spirit to control you? The mind and the, the origin the original purpose or intention of God was for God to be in control and not you to be in control. So any other thing that controls you outside the will of God is your slave master. Is God who should be in charge 
And outside God, you should be in charge of other things and not other things in charge of you. So the reason why we are studying this is for you to understand your legitimate authority that you have, your right, your place. It is not your phone that should control you. It is not the food you eat that should control you. You are the one who should control it. But the end they begin to control you, you know you are addicted to those things and you are in for a long thing. Now let's look at it. What is the promise of God from all these things? In John chapter 8 verse 36, the Bible said, So if the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. Would you want to be free today? You want God to step into your life to interfere into what is happening to you so that you can be free and be free indeed forever. Can we pray together? Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. This morning I have heard your word. Help me to be free indeed. I have saved my soul from eternal damnation. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Breathe upon me the fresh breath, your breath. I want to breathe like you. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Give me a new beginning, O God. Satan, take your feeding hands out of my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me either. My life belongs to Jesus and I have surrendered back to him to control. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. For I am born again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me, I want to say a big congratulations. Of course, the Bible said that the, the angels of God in heaven rejoices over his soul that repented. And if the angels are rejoicing at this moment, what do you think I should tell you? Congratulations. Because you are the most favored person at the moment. However, I want to encourage you to keep looking into this perfect law of liberty that sets men free, the truth that sets men free. Your freedom is already granted and you know you need to sustain it. You need to keep nurturing that which you have received today and is in the looking of the, into the word of God that you will find that life again. To my listeners all over the world, I want to appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being part of this ministry. And I want to encourage you to keep looking into this perfect law of liberty. Your changes, your revival, your restorations, they are in need. Those answers have already been taken care of. Your own will soon be announced. And you will thank God for that. Praise God for your life. And as you continue to listen, may the Lord beautify your feet. Order your steps and usher you into a new realm of life. And you will continue to soar higher. In the name of Jesus. Have a pleasant weekend ahead of you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.